In this video, you're going to learn how to create a really cool logo animation really quickly inside Create Studio. Great, so as you can see, it's a really cool looking animation and you can do it really easily inside Create Studio. So let me show you how it all works. I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything. So the first thing you want to do is go grab an image. I'm just going to go and you could also use a video if you like as well. So let's just grab this one just because I used it in the example. And I'm just going to call this one background or BG for background and make it about, let's say about six seconds long. And what I did in this one, I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. So just zoom out a little bit and use scale. Okay, that's good. And what I want to do is basically create a zoom in effect. So I'm going to drop down the arrow over here and click on the plus icon and simply select scale because I want to animate the scale properties. And I'm just going to drag it over to about the end like that. And then I'm going to move the time indicator to the end of the animation and then simply bring it down. So let's just go and scale this down like so. So maybe about that kind of size. We want it to end about, yeah, about here. And I'll just center that like so. Okay, so now we're going to have a really nice looking zoom animation. I'll make it the same duration as well as the layer. So if I just preview this, so it kind of like zooms out. Um, and the other thing I want to do as well is just adjust the, the opacity. Um, so just make it a little bit darker. And this just helps your logo to have more contrast uh, between the background, okay? So we've got this in place. And now what I want to do is grab my logo. So I've got a logo over here. I'll just drag and drop it like so. And you can see if, if the uh, background was full opacity, you can see it's not really that visible the logo but i really want the logo to stand out so i'm just as i said i'm just going to bring down the opacity maybe something like 25 um and then i'm going to go and add an animation to this logo so over on the motion presets i'm going to go to in and i'm going to go to 3d and i'm going to just select this one here you can go ahead and choose another one if you like as well but i'm going to use this one for this example and i'm going to make it about two seconds long and i'll just preview that so far Cool. So we've got the animation going. The next thing I want to do is after maybe half a second or so, I want to add a glitch effect. So I'm going to click on the plus icon and then select glitch effect. And I'm just going to drag it down a little bit and also adjust the easing. So right click on the custom animation, go to easing and go to both in linear. Okay, cool. And you basically want to place the time indicator at the end of this animation. And you and we want it to go from zero glitching to you know a glitch effect, and then we want it to go from glitch to out. So basically what you're gonna do is go to advanced at the bottom on glitch effect, turn it on. Okay. And you'll see if I place it over here, it's still at 50. So we want this basically to start at zero. So so from this point it's not glitching until it starts to hit here and it's going to start glitching and then it's going to stop glitching basically. So we want to put the time indicator here and bring the strength down to zero so that we've got the animation going and there's no glitch going on. Okay. And then it starts glitching as you can see, and you can bring up the strength and play around with these settings as you like. So let's maybe bring up the strength to like 85 or something like that. Um, we want to bring up the RGB shift so that we've got the colors really going crazy. Um, and you can yeah, just really play around with this and see what looks good to you. Maybe something like that. And yeah, once we've got that, we've got from zero to, it goes to 85. Then what we wanna do is basically right click on it and duplicate reverse so that it goes from 85 back down to zero, okay? And so it stops glitching like that. And we just wanna basically bring this down. So depending on how long you want it to glitch for, it's gonna go about two seconds or so, and then it will just kind of come back to normal. So while this is glitching, what I wanna do is add my text. So I'm just gonna add a text layer and just type in something like create um, studio. Now in the preview video that I showed you at the start, basically what I did was I had the fade effect um, as one word, create, and then I offsetted it um, with studio. Actually, I might just do that to show you what I was meaning. So basically you got to uh, just add your text there, like, okay, about there. And then I'm going to select that and go to motion and go to fade in. 
You could just, you know, use a different, like a slide animation as well, but I'm just gonna do a simple fade like that. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this and I'll just move that over so that we can see it a bit better. And just type in studio like this. And then I'm just gonna hold shift down and click on that other word and just drag it over so it's centered like that. And then for studio, I'm just gonna make it start a little bit later so that it kind of create kind of comes on and then studio like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. And the last thing you wanna do is basically get a nice intro uh, logo kind of uh, track. So I've got this one here. I'm just gonna drag and drop this one over. And maybe we could just make everything go to about that kind of duration. And also for the glitch effect, a good thing to do is to have like a glitch sound effect. So if you can find one of those, you can use those also on your um, same duration as the glitch to add more effect to that. So I'll just zoom in a little bit closer to show you. So this is a gl glitch sound effect um, that's playing. And so you want to kind of align it up so that it starts at the same time as your glitch effect and ends also at the same time as the glitch effect. So if I just play this through um, and you'll see what we've just created. So that's how to create a really cool logo animation using the glitch effect as well as some motion presets and some simple settings inside Create Studio. If you like this video, make sure to add a like and have fun creating. Mm -hmm.